Hey everyone, just wanted to make a quick video discussing the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy Note 7 and compared versus all the other major smartphones that have released so far in 2016. So first of all, just to enable it, oh, I see currently I don't have it, I just have my pin right here. So if I want to enable it, you just go into your settings. And then you are going to scroll down to where it says lock screen and security. And you're going to go to fingerprints. So just put in your pin if you put one in. All right, now you're just going to place your finger on here and lift it up. You're not going to press on the button. Just place it on here. I would suggest moving your finger a little bit as you do it. And I also suggest uh, after doing this, setting up another fingerprint, maybe with your left hand. So that you can unlock it that way too. All right, so now I will turn this on, turn on fingerprint lock, that's what I want. And so you can add one right here. Now, personally, I think that this is a very good fingerprint scanner. So I'm just gonna press down on the button. I'm gonna tap once on the home button, keep my finger on. Very fast, very accurate, very reliable. I think it's a uh, step up from the S7, which I already thought was very good. I've been using the S7 Edge for, since launches came out in March. And I think it's an excellent fingerprint scanner, but this one I think is a little bit better. So yeah, guys, as you can see, extremely reliable. Now, just in terms of the other phones, uh, so the iPhone SE, of course, this uses Apple's Touch ID. Uh, I think this one is pretty good. Although, I find it... I guess it's kind of at the lower end in terms of the phones that I have here. Oh, and something worth noting. So I think all these phones, uh, the fingerprint scanner on all these phones are pretty much better than anything else from years past. Uh, so like Apple, for example, they've improved theirs from years past. Same with Samsung. So for the most part, all the phones you see here are better than pretty much any phone that you could have got in 2015, especially 2014. Uh, the Xperia X performance... So I think this is a solid fingerprint scanner too. Uh, a big step up over the Z5. The Z5 fingerprint I don't think is that good. Now it is on the side here. Uh, I don't like it as much there. I would prefer it here. Because for example, if I'm using the phone with my left hand, it you know, can't really unlock it that way. But um, again, pretty good fingerprint scanner. Very reliable. Alright, um, the LG G5, now this is probably my least favorite uh, because it's on here on the back. I really don't like the placement of this. I mean, you know, the power button's right here on the back. I think it's pretty reliable, like it usually works. But I just don't like doing that, so you have to press it, then just weave your finger on it. Yeah, definitely my least favorite placement for the power button fingerprint scanner. Uh, so I think that one would have to rank last. And then the S7 Edge, so this is pretty similar to the Note 7. Very, very fast, very accurate, reliable. And now we are getting into what is probably my, or what is my favorite. So my favorite is OnePlus 3, I'll show you in a second. Uh, but it's pretty similar here with um, HTC 10. This is also one of my favorites. Very, very fast again. Almost never have issues with it. And my favorite, the OnePlus 3. I mean, this, this is crazy fast. Literally, there's nothing even loading. It's literally like you're just pressing the button. Yeah, and really insane here. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed the video, uh, please subscribe if you're not already for more videos like this in the future. Again guys, all these are good fingerprint scanners. I don't like the placement of the LG 5, but even that is still reliable. Uh, chances are, if you're coming from any phone that released last year, 
Uh, I've heard that some of the past Samsung phones really have pretty bad fingerprint scanners, but again, I like the one on the Note 7, the S7 Edge. So yeah, thanks again for watching everyone, and let me know in the comment section what video do you want to see next.